Badum. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, you know, Kakum Nato was not technologically behind. First, I struggled to look at the um, Tibrian lens. Um, I look, I instead look at myself. So sorry for that if you are watching. Um, and I'm sorry for my break, uh, bra background is a little bit uh, messy, but it is because I'm decluttering, I'm sorting everything out, and that's the reason for this video, uh, by the way. So yes, without going on and on and on, today I am saving you money. You know, as new moms, as a first time mom especially, we tend to go overboard trying to um you know like because we don't know and we want the best for our children we just i feel like sometimes we go overboard and like just buy and buy and buy and buy lots of things that sometimes are unnecessary or sometimes that the the baby might not even use so i just wanted to share my experience like i did a video on like newborn essentials and those are the things that i use every day and i don't regret buying so today I just want to share the things that I do regret buying. But guys, all pregnancies are different, all motherhood journeys are different. So what works for me might not work for you or what worked for you might not work for me. So also like just um, take note of that. I'm just, you know, doing this just in case you're planning on buying something. Maybe you could hold off on it and then buy it at a later stage or, you know, just I'm just sharing tips basically uh, based on my experience so let's get right into it i'll also link the video on the description box the video of the newborn essentials it is on my channel um the disc and baby bag review as well um yeah yeah i'll try to link videos that i might talk about in here so anyway let me get started i want to start with the pregnancy items that i got when i was pregnant first of all this book our first memories it's such a cute book i don't want to lie um oh let me scan it is a cute book like one of those books like it's a journal where it talks about like just like random things like the beginning how you found out you were pregnant um your like the baby's names and all of that contact list it's a really cool book i don't know if you guys can see like and then it had like different weeks um where you would write stuff um like for an example week 16 i wrote i'm so excited and cannot wait to meet you so much that i even thought i am already on my fourth month <laughs> only to realize it's the third i made your grandmothers listen to your heartbeat for the first time and i was so happy to hear a healthy and strong heartbeat <laughs> how cute but like basically i was never consistent i'm um, keeping record and all of that worst part when she was um born like i don't even have all those details you know it's just that you can't see properly but like yeah basically that's the book waste of money and it was how much 220 but if you are that type of mom that is like a like that is consistent in terms of journaling and stuff like that definitely you can get it i got it at babysitting and another thing from a pregnancy point of view that i do regret buying is this pregnancy pillow like how bulky is it and how comfortable is it so i just it was just a waste of space really i never uh used it even though my bag did kill me so yeah I, i'm thinking oh, my print my cousin is currently pregnant so i'm thinking of um giving it to her maybe it can work for her because my other friend who was pregnant at the same time as me did say she did use it so but it didn't work for me and like it's expensive so yeah some of these things really yeah check them out first before you can let me check on the baby i think like she's crying not crying but like she's fussing let me check on her i'm back 
sorry about that she's fine so yeah it was just bulky um i don't know where i was but anyway the third item that i regret buying is this microwave sterilizer thing um first of all it's too big for my microwave it can't fit but second of all guys okay world first like third item right but everything in it as well my baby refuses the bottle she does not want to hear anything she doesn't want pacifiers or spill dummy dumb dummy whatever you call it she doesn't want any of those things so like literally everything in here was a waste of money and i regret buying especially well at that time so well i was using this the other time so i don't know why there's water in here anyway the medulla breast pump and like i mean these things are expensive so you can imagine if you're not getting a uh, value from your, for your money meaning that you're not using them so it's, it is a waste so like the breast pump different types of bottles guys i know like people they everyone has suggested that you use different um bottles this is nuke tommy tp philips event or whatever it is um like she still she still doesn't want any of these in terms of the pacifier i got the this is the clicks no name brand i've got the nuke or nuck or whatever you call it i know this lighting is great for me because you i feel like you guys can see i've got the tommy tp one as well she's she does not want them and <laughs> funny story this thing i do remember my two friends um saying i went you don't need this because of your letdown won't be like even a teaspoon but my i found like especially when i came back from hospital like i had like i had serious milk production here so i was leaking everywhere so i could get like a good amount of um letdown so if for someone that might not know what letdown is is if you're breastfeeding on the one side or pumping on the one side like this the other boob tends to leak so instead of like uh, just um wasting that milk or having the milk that milk go to the breast pad or fall on you whatever you can just um use this like that and then the milk will be in here and then you can put it back on the other bottle or whatever you can also use it as of like a sort of like a manual pump thingy because you just thingy like this You'll see it a lot in the American or European YouTubers. By Bita Haka Pump. Like they, they love it a lot actually. So you just do this. Put it on your boob. And then like press it like this. Then it will become some sort of a manual pump. Yeah. But anyway. Leone. Not using. Um, what else did I want to say in here? Oh I got these nipple shields guys. Uh some people were saying they don't know what those are nipple shields i don't know if you guys can see this is in a little excuse me for my chipped nails like it's got little holes in there so basically you put them directly on your nipple to assist with um latching of the baby because sometimes when the baby is still uh well because you're a new mom you don't really know how to breastfeed basically so apparently they just help in terms of latching so that it doesn't become painful or if you've got cracked nipples to like just to um like if we could say that pain but still i did not use these guys i can go on and on like probably this whole um hatiking this whole thing maybe like five thousand ten million because <laughs> i mean like the pump the bottles the, the everything else uh, guys uh, yeah but basically waste regret buying my advice wait until i don't know i don't even know what i can advise you to like because as a new mom you do want to prepare um ahead I don't know maybe buy one bottle or try it but that's what i did also guys i don't know i don't know do with this information like, i don't know <laughs> um the other item 
guys i know these are cute right but literally i don't think they're practical i don't think they're comfortable even for the baby i feel like maybe for like a grown uh baby things like this like an old and a baby because i bought this in like what's this i think the zero to three months like material thing oh hard in yana man and had you if you had comfortable man like material old what you hand that's about yeah so i feel like they're not they're very cute it comes with a little headband i did she was wearing it on if you go on my channel she was wearing it for her third month uh photo shoot vibe we took it to a picnic about it but like yeah it is cute but i don't think they're practical so yeah just if you love these kind of things i feel like buy one or two don't be like me and buy so many uh, she's got so many of these and some like she like she won't even wear them because i just so uh, not practical not comfortable so that's that in terms of clothes obviously like i know like everybody um in terms of clothes they'll say don't buy too many newborn stuff zero to like buy zero to three rather and all of that i feel generally don't buy too many clothes i did buy lots of clothes and um it was a, like i mean she's worn them once or twice or whatever but like that's just i feel like I, you can't really control that that much i can advise to say okay don't buy but i i know that you might not listen to that advice because i also didn't i did buy like a lot of clothes and i did also didn't want my child to be wearing something like something so huge no ways so i did buy like newborn stuff in zero to three it's only now that i'm like ah, she's growing too fast but anyway that's ah uh, well guys this one i can tell you don't buy them ah uh, well this one ah mm. uh, well guys no that this one's i can tell you straight up the miss beanies or oh, heads little heads first of all she does not like them i don't know whether because she just doesn't like things on her head or they are too tight or what i don't know at first they were too big then jiggy jiggy they're too small like there was it's, it's like where was the balance what was the reason what was the reason what was the reason what was the reason like no ways yeah like literally if you have to in fact like some i know go comments or like some you will probably get a gift or you will buy like a set that will have like a beanie i think this came from a set like you know those five pieces whatever rather just have like two of those that's it you don't need any more than this she has more than what i have right now and she ne she's never worn them another thing mittens i went crazy i remember i literally went to the shops looking for the mittens like i went specifically to look for mittens and hats which she's never really worn that much because i mean it's never really cold and they just sometimes lose they get off the mittens sick these things for the hands guys <laughs> a friend of mine actually was here she was saying she's always thought these are socks these are not socks <laughs> These are not socks because you know like they come in i know like in some shops they come with like a little hat in a pack it's a little hat and these things they are mittens they're also called booties they are for the hands like the hands laugh for basically for kids maybe not to feel cold or for not for them not to scratch uh to scratch their themselves because of their long nails this is how they look like She's got like so many of these never worn them never never used them so yeah but i i don't know i might keep them for winter maybe in winter because so maybe she'll be gonna need because sometimes if it's cold i do put like normal socks on her oh yes my advice on this don't buy these mittens don't buy mittens rather just use socks socks are more the more tighter and i feel like more comfortable and you can use both them on the feet and on the hands my advice all right another thing um well i'm gonna say let me say toiletries in general right L like okay 
Give me a second, right? Toiletries, you know why? Because I used this um, Dove shampoo on her head. The reason I knew that I wasn't going to use like perfume stuff and scented stuff and all of that, right? I am using Epimex, but I didn't find a shampoo that's like sensitive skin or whatever the case. So I didn't know what to wash her hair with. So I just bought this, but it did actually give her a reaction. So I stopped using it. So my advice is maybe don't buy any toiletries, especially if you are on medical aid because you do get like a lot of baby bags, which I'll show you right now. And in those baby bags, you will find samples. So rather use samples and then um, stick with the ones that you like. Obviously, you'll try different uh, brands and then stick with the ones that you like. So instead, don't go out and buy like lots of toiletries. You might end up not... Um, using them i'm fortunate this is the only one that i bought and she doesn't use other people have bought like the johnson and johnson um like all of those things that we know like you know and then they ended up not using them like your shampoo lotion baby, baby wash whatever 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 and they're like maybe they bought like big things like that and they end up not using them so rather just try out samples first before you actually buy like a lot of something yeah so anyway um moving on to that let me just get on to that so basically guys this is the bag that i got from the scam um like i said i will leave a link up um with the video where i show you what's in the the scam baby bag review um and then this is the bag that i got from where did i get this one from I think it might be from is is from from the hospital. I got this yeah from the hospital. So also in here guys you'll find they do give like samples of lots of stuff. So like I don't think I got these from this bag, but like this is what I'm talking about when I say samples. You know, these are free stuff. So like try try different things out first and then you can decide so for an example this is purity so if you were to try this and then if it works you continue with it and then this is i got i think this was from the baby things yeah this i got from the discam this discam baby bag yeah but basically yeah like it's just a lot of like these small small things hey so yeah don't buy lots of toiletries another thing guys that i regret buying also when you're pregnant for your hospital bag don't buy these um disposable underwear they're not practical just use your normal um underwear with um maternity pads that's it you, you this is not necessary i promise you uh yeah, I didn't... They're still here. What else? Also, yeah, these linen savers, guys. They do say you must bring a pack of linen savers. I bought two because I thought maybe I'm going to need more for when I get home. Literally just buy one. They do um, require them at the hospital, but they might not use all of them like they didn't with me. And then when you get home, you can use it like maybe for the first week or whatnot. So again, don't buy lots of these. One is enough. Uh, yeah, as well as these maternity panties, guys. Like, what on earth is going on? It's they are they're not necessary as well like not practical not just a waste of money just use your own underwear so you know anyway i got this back from the um, from the hospital like i said so now i've got four baby bags so again another tip is maybe not get like your own baby bag you can use the disc and baby bag or any of the bags that you get from either the hospital or your medical aid if you are on medical aid then this is another bag that i got from my medical aid so leone is hectic it's got a lot of stuff it's got a lot of smaller bags as well 
so it also has like i said a lot of those um what do you call them these are both the samples of um toiletries and stuff like that or what so you've got your bennett you've got purity you've got you know in the other one i did have epimex as well so baby balm cream nipple cream as well so i do have like a lot of um samples or or toiletries that came with the bags and i did buy obviously like a lot of other things as well so if i waited i could have just used these and like i've been saying this video is becoming so long i'm so sorry guys but basically yeah that's it in terms of like um toiletries and bags and stuff like that rather just wait um yeah so i've got yeah so anyway i am using currently this um this can bag and i bought myself <laughs> this one i love this one so i don't write i don't really regret buying it so this is the one that i use on a daily basis when you go out and stuff and then these are for clothes so these ones i'm gonna give away another thing i regret buying guys i went overboard i watched a lot of um videos actually when actually the videos i'm america but anyway never mind me i believed in the fact that a baby must be swaddled so i felt like so i bought a lot of swaddles guys Ish. i bought a lot of these things and they are so expensive also i think this you might see you think what come in see um she doesn't use these i don't think it's because not not because it's not winter yet but generally i don't think she like because she likes having her friend her hands free so these ones don't allow her to have to have her friend her hands free so buy one if you have to if you want to try it out but yeah no i got this one from woolies i think maybe this one i can start um putting here in but maybe it's a bit hot i don't know yeah, I can start putting her in this one. Kikubonyan. It's just a little... So, I can re so basically, the reason I bought swaddles is because I was doing research and they're saying safe sleep. The baby must not sleep in the same bed as you. Sleep in her own cot. Not with blankets, but swaddles. So, because these swaddles, they, like, she can't... go because it can't... She, she won't be able to put it over her, her, her head and stuff like that so that's why i bought so many of these ones and that's the that was the plan so but these ones i think they she, we can still use them um in winter i'll try i'll try to see how we're going to use them but yeah we're gonna try if winter comes she doesn't use them then i will give them away so yeah guys um what else did i want to share with you i did make a list i did make a list so let me quickly go to the list and see if i covered um everything yeah basically basically and like i said in the other video don't get the pets the what do you carry well uh pets like those maternity pets by the way they they're just like this like and thick and whatnot just get the lilith's maternity pets because they're bigger or like any brand and but with wings and it's long and it's big that that will do those ones they are chifta adi adi dude increase west part if you mix those with the disposable paint is disaster because that thing i do steal that disposable paint itself i do steal it i tie it so no so use normal Tami Mumu, yeah, just use any branded pads. It's just like the biggest one of them all. But fortunately, Lilith has maternity pads, so they're great. So, guys, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I will, like I said, I will try to link the other videos that I did in terms of like what I do use, what is necessary, and what has been helpful. But yeah, try to save your money 
um, buy a little bit of this that wait for the baby to get here see what the baby is like see what the baby would like what you think and then only buy so don't be like me and buy everything like i literally started buying like the original three months or so yeah but anyway i'm glad you sticked around i hope you do get to watch until this end and and i hope it does help you um please share if you are not a mom or you know of a friend cousin whatever that is a mom share the video maybe she might get some insight so yeah i like rambling when it's time to end the video and i'm looking at the time i'm like okay say what you gotta say and then like i go my mind goes yeah anyway gotta go guys the baby is up let me go tend to her stay blessed and thank you for watching please um subscribe um i am i i started this journey i did i was just doing it for memories and stuff but like i'm like oh you know what maybe let me give it a try because i am enjoying this man creating content so let me just try you know what i mean so i am um, aiming to get a thousand subscribers so yeah thank you all thank you to all my 200 and something subscribers um thank you very much and thank you to those that are watching um yeah bye stay blessed i hope i didn't forget anything <laughs> okay coming